Macomb County father is seeking legal action over inappropriate text messages allegedly sent to his daughter by a classmate. And that tops our news at 6 o'clock. Police are investigating, and we're getting comment from Chippewa Valley Schools over the allegations of a boy sending disturbing messages to young girls. The incidents involve students at Algonquin Middle School near Grosbeck and Metro Parkway. Victor Williams live with us now after speaking with one girl's father who took that matter to court today because he feels that more needs to be done, Victor. Yes, that's totally correct, Devin and Kimberly. You know, the Clinton Township Police Department, they've been looking into the situation, investigating, and then taking their findings and then turning it over to the Macomb County prosecutor. But even still, after all of that, the father that we spoke to is saying that he wishes the school and the school district would have done more themselves. She left a note for me on Thursday night, and it said, Dad, please don't let me go to school tomorrow. Can I please stay home? I don't want to see him. Robert Ellison says his 11-year-old daughter just doesn't feel safe anymore going to class at Algonquin Middle School. It all stemmed from when another student, an 11-year-old boy, allegedly started asking her to send nudes of herself via text. All these incidents happened during her fifth hour. The text messages, the pictures, everything. Robert says the student's back in school. Now Robert's working on filing a PPO on the young man to keep him away. Attorney Todd Perkins says although he's a minor, one could easily be granted in juvenile court. I think the, the bottom age is 10 years old um, to 17 years old. Robert says in all he contacted the principal of the school, the counselor, and the school resource officer about how his daughter didn't feel comfortable with the boy being allowed to come back. She went to walk to her fifth hour and the principal had moved the gentleman's locker right to her fifth hour in front of her class. So she was confronted to him right away. Now the Chippewa Valley School District did send us the following statement, which in part reads, quote, we immediately referred the matter to the Clinton Township Police Department. A police report was made and is currently with the Macomb County Prosecutor's Office for review. Any student that sends inappropriate text messages to another student can face serious school and legal consequences. So we're going to have to see if that is indeed what happens in this situation. At Macomb County, Victor Williams. Local force. Sure will. All right, Victor.